anyone out there that likes porn? Yeah. Okay, good, 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 good. We're getting good. How about, is anybody watch porn today? Okay, good. So you got your release and you're sort of calmed down, right? Well, like the gentleman said, my name's Rebecca Bardot. I am a 24-year veteran of the adult industry. That is right. That is over two decades of cock sucking. And I've got the stretch marks around my mouth to prove it, so don't worry about that. That's right. That's right. I mean, it's incredible, you know. I have traveled all over the world, four Hall of Fames, numerous awards, and I even got a celebrity sex tape. Yeah, the tape was not released because the celebrity wasn't big enough. Yeah, the Zoom focus wouldn't even work on that dick. Gotcha. A lot of people ask me, Rebecca, after 20, over 20 years as an adult, why have you decided to do comedy? Basically, I look at it like this. For the last 20 years, I've been laying down on the job. So for the next 20, I'm going to be standing up. All right, right, right? I figure it this way, okay? Think about it. All these other comedians can get up here and talk about their terrible childhood. I can certainly get up here and talk about all the dicks that I've had to deal with. And the worst ones, and the ones you got to watch, the uncircumcised. You never see him coming. Yeah, it's the truth. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I get a question. The big, most questions I get is like, what does your family think? Well, they have a military. Don't ask. Don't tell policy. But, it did cure my brother's porn addiction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but, you know, I don't want to you to get the idea that it's all glitz and glamour, you know, of me, my big career, you know. I've had some down times. I've had some really hard times. I mean, I've had pain. I mean, Brazilian bikini waxes, Botox injections, and the worst, oh God, the fucking worst is not enough loot for the anal scene. Oh my God, you know what I'm talking about too, don't you? Yeah, you know, it hurts oh, like a motherfucker. But I am not going to talk about anal tonight, you know? It, everyone knows it's a sore subject, right? You have to ease into it, right? And, you know, let's face it, you can't just get up here and talk out your ass about anal. You know, and most importantly, you have to be prepared. Emotionally and physically. So basically, if you had Mexican for lunch today, don't do it. No, absolutely not, absolutely not. But, you know, a lot of misconceptions about me, as you can imagine, the big misconception that I always get is that everyone thinks that I'm bisexual. And quite frankly, ugh, I'm not a vegetarian. Ugh, you know, I don't know how you guys go down on that pussy because God, you know. I mean, it was one thing, to, you know, doing porn because in the adult industry, all the pussy tastes and smells like water and vinegar, right? So, yeah, add a little olive oil to that. And you got a salad ready to be tossed. Yeah, I mean, that's fantastic. I mean, you know, everybody loves that. Nowadays, too, the guys love tossing their salad as much, right? You tell me if I'm not right that don't you like it when a girl just gets down there and licks on your ass? Yeah, right? You like it, you like it, a little finger up the rump? Oh, yeah. It's fine. It's what, 2016, we're fine with that, right? Yeah. How are you tonight? Taco Bell, Are you doing all right? You're just sitting there and I'm looking at you. And you're, you're not stunned or anything, because I know you've been watching porn forever, and I know you've had anal sex a lot. 
<laughs> you have, haven't you? <laughs> and, I mean, who hasn't had anal sex? Let's be frank about it. You know, let's just fuck. We've all had it. We've all done it. Who cares, you know? But anyways, like I said, you know, 20 years in the industry. I'm not doing too bad, you know? I just... <sighs> I have to, I have to say, it, it, it's tough getting old in the industry. I mean, it's tough getting old in general, right? I mean, I, I like to call it the P-A-W, pathetic aging whore. Yeah. The hardest part, remember? That, oh my God, seeing that first pubic hair. Oh my God, that fucking killed me. You know, not only did it kill me, I knew that it killed my biological clock and the antique roadshow didn't even want to look at it. But anyway, you know, I'm trying to move forward. I'm trying to get a life outside of porn. I'm, you know, I'm trying to find love with a man for strength and someone to change my depends. Because I mean, that's what happens, right? You go from buying tampons to buying the pens. <laughs> Honestly, it's all right, though. It's all right. Um, the one thing, and I want to leave you with this, and it's something I always say, and I've been saying it for so long, and I just always say it because I want to educate everyone. The one thing that I got that I'm so proud of from the adult industry is my great skin. You know why I got great skin, because you have great skin. <laughs> Let's face it, this face has seen so much come. <laughs> Helen Burley Brown was right when she said it's good for the skin. So, I'm serious. Next time you are with your man, or you're with your man, and he's ready to let loose, you have him come on your face. And you don't wash it off. You want to pat that shit in. Like you do, you know, with the cucumber mask. You know, just pat it in, leave it on there for a few minutes. And then you wash it off. And I guarantee you, in 10 years, you're going to be looking at in the mirror and you're going to be saying, God, that fucking porn bitch was right. <laughs> but one more thing before I leave, because, oh, fuck, I hate wasting cum. Oh, I hate wasting cum, right? In the morning, when you go get up, and you roll over, and you give your man a blowjob, you do this every morning, don't you? You let him release his man milk in your mouth. And you swallow it. I'm serious. That's the best protein shake you are ever going to get. Trust me. John Juice has nothing like that on their menu. And don't just take my word for it. Look at Tom Cruise. He looks great. Thank you guys. Have a great show.